Don't step on the food. Oh my we just hatched out two very adorable little geckos. And as their giant ape caretaker, my only job is to keep them alive. That means housing them and feeding them. It should be simple, except one of them is noticeably smaller and less active. If I can't get them eating, they will simply not survive. And that's a big issue because rent is due this week and they haven't paid me. I initially mentioned using this as one of their enclosures, but it's just not gonna work. At this age, we wanna minimize the chance of large falls. They tend to jump first and think second, and they do take fall damage. Even this height may be too dangerous. Instead, we've got these little tubs. It's extremely important that we get them eating. Their first meal, of course, is their own skin, which is packed with nutrients. But for every meal after, they're dependent on me for the next 15 years. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bajan just jumped on this lady's back. <laughs> How you Yes, please. Can I get uh, 20 large, 20 super tiny ones? This is, uh, this is the fun part of keeping crickets. We do it all that pep on there. The process is called gut loading. Anything we put into our crickets is gonna end up in our geckos. This smell when you open this is so bad. Oof. Have fun in there. These first couple of feedings, I am choosing to hand feed them. I wanna like see with my own eyes that they're eating during these crucial early moments of their development. Look at you. Both already clogged. I'm just gonna wipe this real quick. Hold on, sorry. Don't turn your back to us. I know you're nervous. Here. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. He loves it. Yes, dude, he loves it. Oh my God, look at that tongue, dude. Oh, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. He was the smaller of the two. Born second. Oh, you're in a great position for this. Not necessarily worried about him, but if he doesn't eat, that'll get me worried. We want to make sure he gets off to a good start here. So all you gotta do is take a lick. Nope. Does that interest you at all? Look at that light color. It looks like toes. I'm telling you right now, I bet this is gonna look more like toes than Fuji. Do you not want to eat? All right, well, okay. You know, that's okay. That's okay. Hi, right, cricket. We're gonna give him a cricket. See if you like the cricket. Don't step in the food. Oh my God. So it is bug season. We got loaded these crickets yesterday. As you know, the goal here is just to get them to eat anything. You didn't like that. I'm gonna try these. Toes goes completely feral for crickets, especially in the summertime. Maybe her offspring will be the same. We just wanted to see if we can get this guy eating something. You're gonna die. No. No. Oh no. Oh, no. oh it went in your pant leg. No, you tipped the whole bucket. You tipped the whole bucket. Gotta season them alive. All right, let's see if you like crickets. I killed the cricket. Oh, I killed it. Oh, it's still squirming. That's actually kind of perfect. My cricket. I'm gonna take one that's nostril. Oh, dude, that would be perfect. Does that interest you? <laughs> Turns his head away. Okay, oh, dropped it in there. Now it's squirming. His whole ass broken. I crushed his whole ass. My crickets, but we're gonna leave it in there. We're gonna try again tomorrow with just a different flavor, I guess. And uh, see how it goes. Big shout out to dealers. I know you know what this is. Weighing reptiles is the easiest way to keep track of their health. Gaining weight or staying the same is good. Losing weight, usually bad. It's perfect for weighing uh, small things. I'm gonna zero out the scale. You're the one I'm worried about. So I wanna keep track of you. Hold on. Good boy. Poor girl. Oh, we're looking at three, 3.5 grams. Big man, big man on campus. So it's the next day. We're gonna try this again now. We really wanna get this guy to eat. Oh, a little cricket breading. There's really no way to know if they ate overnight by themselves it's because they're so tiny and their licks are so tiny. Oh, hi again. Hi buddy. Hey, listen, please eat for us. Please. So we got a little watermelon today. Hey, buddy. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. He likes melon. He likes watermelon. Yes, buddy! Yes, dude! Oh, that's such good news. I guess he just doesn't like fig and insect. Dude, he loves watermelon. Look at him go, he's housing it. Save some for me, man. And a huge thank you to our first few Patreon supporters. This is what your generous support afforded us this week, and I'm seriously grateful. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Yeah, peace!